Hi, guys. Uh, I'm Kamran Youssef uh, from Storage Made Easy. And here, I I'm here to show you that uh, how you can use Storage Made Easy with uh, OpenStack uh, to provide an enterprise Dropbox or what Gartner calls file share and a sync solution. So the basic premises for Storage Made Easy is that we pr with using Storage Made Easy and OpenStack, you can create a pri private or a hybrid cloud. Uh, the market segment we are in is uh, enterprise file sync and share. And uh, when you're using OpenStack, it provides you with API, which is very developer friendly. But if you have to go to the end users and our business users, they can't use it directly. Using a, a storage made easy on top of OpenStack, OpenStack provides the storage and SME that will provide with all the, uh, the desktop clients, mobile clients, uh, sharing features, sync features, online access, offline access. Uh, our target market is uh, a medium, uh, mid-sized companies to uh, large enterprises. And uh, if you want to deploy the storage made easy solution, you can either deploy, we, uh, you can deploy it on our infrastructure or you can deploy it in your own uh, data center. And I will explain it to you uh, um, in the presentation how you can do that. Uh, we started supporting uh, OpenStack in March 2011, and we are uh, a supporting organization for that. Uh, with Storage Made Easy, uh, sorry, with the, uh, OpenStack, you can use Swift as the storage, and you can also deploy it on OpenStack Compute, the appliance we provide. So it covers the full stack. Uh, we have a number of customers that are using uh, uh, OpenStack. Uh, Lush, that's a large uh, cosmetic provider in um, uh, UK, and they have shops in about 50 different countries. They've deployed the Storage Made Easy solution uh, with OpenStack. Uh, all their invoices, all their marketing material, that, that's stored in OpenStack, and they access uh, all the shops, they access uh, all those documents uh, from their shops in a, about 50 uh, countries. Webhosting.net, that's an ISP. They are using uh, OpenStack as uh, Swift as a storage, and then they are providing their customers uh, at a business level, uh, uh, enterprise uh, file share and sync uh, uh, scale up. Uh, th that's again uh, a German ISP. They're using OpenStack with the storage made easy. Cloud and Heat, uh, which you may have heard on the, uh, on the keynote, they're also using uh, our solution. Nimbus com Concept in Spain, a large UK bank, they, they had their block storage and uh, their uh, uh, files on a, uh, on a legacy system, and now they're moving to OpenStack, and they're using storage made easy to provide uh, access to their, uh, all their users, about 100,000 users. So, sorry. I'll just quickly show you what do we do. So on premise, you have your data or your existing file, uh, file system. Then you also plan to use uh, OpenStack, Amazon S3, or any other system which is available uh, uh, remotely. Your users, they're bringing their uh, devices. They want to access it over their mobile devices. They want to access everything over, uh, uh, you want to provide access uh, uh, to your uh, existing uh, storage plus your, uh, uh, the cloud storage to your users. Uh, so, uh, where are we? All right. So essentially, uh, using Storage Made Easy, you can use it as a cloud gateway and add your external storage plus your internal storage. And we will provide the interfaces, uh, web dev, FTP, SIFs, uh, to uh, internally or externally to all your uh, devices, and the users can use it from there. 
so, so using uh, uh, storage made easy, you can turn your OpenStack Swift to an enterprise dr Dropbox. Uh, we provide full auditing and go governance capabilities there. If you want to do encryption at rest, we provide, uh, 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 you can encrypt the data when it's uh, getting stored at rest, and we use AES 256-bit uh, encryption. Uh, you can access your OpenStack, uh, uh, your, your storage. Uh, we provide uh, protocol adapters. You can use WebDAV, FTP, ST, SFTP, and SF, uh, FTPS to access the data. So uh, all the major uh, protocols, they are supported there. Uh, we integrate with Active Directory so you can import the users, authenticate different users, uh, your users using Active Directory or LDAP, and uh, uh, provide single sign-on. Uh, you can create shared folders. Uh, give different users access to the shared folders and uh, uh, set very fine grade permissions on that. Uh, we provide another appliance which will index the data that's stored in OpenStack Swift. And you can do just like Google, you can do content search on that uh, at a text level or at a metadata level. Uh, when you're installing, you can uh, install it on bare metal or you can use uh, Zen, uh, Hyper-V, uh, ESXi, or uh, OpenStack, uh, OpenStack Compute also. Uh, what's the architecture? So you have the storage at the bottom, and we support about 45 different uh, storage providers, including OpenStack Swift, Amazon S3, Google Storage, Azure, uh, WebDev, FTP, SFTP. So as long as you can access your storage using any other protocol, SIF, uh, NFS, you, you can use those also. Then here, every, if, you, if you configure it, you can use the encryption engine. All the data that's, that goes to the storage, that will be encrypted in the appliance. You are in control of the keys. Uh, no one can, can access your data without those keys. So even if you, if you have a hybrid cloud, which is private and public, you can set it up that uh, a private is stored uh, unencrypted. But on the public cloud, let's say if you're using Amazon S3 to burst out or uh, archive uh, some of your documents, you can uh, encrypt them. So no one will have uh, access to those. Then every action that's uh, logged. And for that, we have an audit manager. User logs in. Any file is accessed. Uh, uh, any file is downloaded, deleted. Everything is uh, logged. So if you, if you have to, for compliance, if you have to provide a report to someone, you can generate a report and uh, give it to, uh, and uh, uh, provide that. Uh, then on the side, we have an access control. Uh, 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 there is an access control module that's used for, just like on Windows, like you create shared folders. You can create shared folders. Uh, provide access to different uh, users who can access it. Is it read access? Is it write access? Can they, can they just browse it? Can they create folders? Very granular permissions for that. Sometimes some of our users, they have the private cloud running, um, running on-premise, but they want to back it up to Amazon S3 or Azure or any other, or OpenStack Swift. So we provide a backup engine every action that's replicated to the other uh, 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 st storage cloud also. And, uh, and it's for business continuity also. If, one, if the pr primary cloud that goes down, then it automatically switches in read-only mode to the backup cloud. So the backup, that's already built in there. We pr another important thing is that our, if you start using Storage Made Easy, with uh, OpenStack Swift, you can, the data that's stored, as you see, in, on, the, on your file system. So you can access it from other different tools directly in OpenStack Swift. We don't create our own blocks. Uh, we, don't, uh, we don't have a, uh, our own proprietary format. So if you have any other tool you want to use with OpenStack Swift, there you have other ways to get into OpenStack Swift and have, want to have access to that, you, you can still do that. We, uh, so storage Made Easy is to, uh, totally agnostic to uh, your existing data or data that goes through Storage, uh, storage Made Easy to OpenStack Swift. And at the top, 
We have our own protocols, REST XML uh, and REST JSON works over HTTPS, but uh, we also provide web dev, SFTP, and uh, uh, S3 compatible API on top of that uh, there also. SFTP, that becomes important. Uh, if, you have, if you're in a lab laboratory, you're using tools, normally they provide you, uh, you can accept, uh, they provide you uh, with tools that you can use uh, to uh, upload the data somewhere else using SFTP or uh, FTP protocol. So you can use it with OpenStack Swift. You don't need a client on your proprietary uh, equipment. On the side, uh, we integrate with Active Directory and LDAP. For single sign-on, you can use uh, or you can write your own custom security module. You can import the users. You can import the roles. The authentication will be done over uh, those uh, um, uh, 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 using uh, Active Directory or LDAP. Uh, an important uh, uh, thing that comes across is that uh, can you scale? So the technology we use, we use Apache HTTP server, memcache, MySQL DB, and we provide you the appliance in uh, OVF format. So the important thing here is that we don't use any, uh, anything that's not well understood by the, uh, by the IT department. If you want to scale out, you can just put a load balancer, deploy multiple uh, storage made easy appliances. You can partition uh, the database where we keep the metadata, what permissions users have, uh, uh, for, uh, cache the file listings for quick access. And so you can, um, uh, the Apache servers, they become stateless, and it's just a well understood uh, architecture. So you can just, uh, uh, scale out very, very easily. It does require some skills on, uh, on the IT department side, but there is no magic. You can use your existing knowledge to do that. And then we provide native clients for, um, uh, for Mac, Windows, and Linux. So you can uh, turn OpenStack into Dropbox, which is offline, online access. You have set up your devices. You have selected the folders that they should be synced uh, offline. Uh, you make a change on one device. It's replicated to all uh, your uh, other devices. Uh, same for the mobile. We, we provide you with, uh, uh, for all the major platforms that supported, BlackBerry, Android, iOS, and uh, Windows Phone. The, the important thing here is that we support both offline and uh, 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 online when you're online access. So if users, they are used to using uh, a Windows shared drive, uh, we provide for Mac, Windows, and, uh, um, and uh, Linux, uh, where the drive is shown in Finder, uh, Windows Explorer, and uh, uh, in whatever explore, uh, file manager you are using in Linux. So you, the users, they can just work as they used to work before, that, okay, drive is mounted, you open a file, you edit it, and then you can just uh, save it. So now I'll show you the, how does it look like. So once you get the appliance, the first thing you will be doing is that you will be adding a, a provider. Here I have added a couple of uh, OpenStack providers. But here you can see that all these different storages, uh, we support them. So OpenStack, Salesforce, Scality, SharePoint, uh, ThinkCon, uh, WebDev, Windows Azure, Amazon S3, Amazon Government, uh, Cloudian. So about 45 different uh, storage providers that we support. And they all are supported in the same way. Once you have added a provider, you can either import your users or you can create new users. So all you need is an OpenStack, uh, OpenStack account, and you can use it uh, either, uh, either use one, for a one uh, OpenStack account for each user, or you can have a, sh uh, a shared account where all the access goes through uh, Storage Made Easy, and all the user's data is stored in that one account, uh, OpenStack Swift account. So once you have created the users, you can 
create roles also. So like here, I've created a, a couple of roles, uh, marketing and sales. You can create uh, team folders. And then you can assign permissions. So like here, a uh, marketing role, I've given them read, write, uh, read and write permission. Once you have a, uh, um, so, uh, oh, and, and remember here, uh, when I'm import, uh, I've just created the users in SME, but you can import the users. If you have thousands of users, you can import them from Active Directory or uh, LDAP also. And that's the file manager. So in the file manager, you can create folders. They all are stored in uh, OpenStack Swift. I've set up different permissions. And now if I go uh, as a user, uh, so here uh, I've logged in as a marketing manager user. And you will see that he only has access to the common folder, the marketing folder, and uh, his own personal folder. You ca he can upload documents. He can generate shared links. If he wants to share it with someone, you can set expiry on the links. If you are sharing uh, externally with someone, uh, you can set them uh, set passwords here uh, for the for the different uh, for the shared link, and he can email it. He can uh, he can post it on his blog, and those files uh, uh, they will uh, um, the user they will be able to access that. Sorry, just a moment. Uh, extensive, we provide extensive options uh, for user governance. Uh, if you want, do you want the users to allow share uh, files and folders with external people? Can they see each other? Do you want to do encryption? Uh, so at rest, is stored uh, in an encrypted format. You can set all those things. Uh, versioning is supported. So if a file is modified, the old versions, they are still available. Yeah, you can set that up. Uh, you, can, uh, you can fully customize the user interface uh, for the end users. Uh, notifications, they are also very important. You can set up notifications on different folders. If a file changes, uh, uh, the users will be informed, and that's very important for uh, workflow. If you want to... Sorry. If people, they want to, uh, you can open the files in MS Office using a, a plugin. Uh, if they want to, you can, if, you want, if they want to comment for the workflow, they can comment on files, and all the users who have access to it, they will be notified about that. Uh, we have done integration with uh, Zoho. So if, uh, just like Google Docs, if, uh, if users, they want to uh, edit files, they can also edit the files and save them just through the browser. Uh, we provide also a, lo a lot of different plugins. Like here, uh, I can show you like, a lot of people, if they use uh, Gmail, you can access your files. All right. You can generate links. So rather than uploading files, you can just generate the links, uh, set the passwords, share, and the, and the link will be inserted into Gmail. We also support Salesforce. All this functionality is provided in uh, Microsoft Outlook plugin uh, also on the desktop. Uh, OS 10 uh, mail plugin is also provided for that. Uh, we have offices in, uh, we are a UK-based company, so that's our headquarters, but we also have uh, an office in Switzerland and an uh, office in the uh, um, States. In, uh, so if, if so someone is here from States, they can contact uh, this address. Uh, and Anna, she's at the back. If you want further uh, information, you can provide your uh, ca card to her, and uh, sh she will be able to contact you. All right, guys. Thank you.